Hello guys, welcome to Lovely Twin 22, Vanessa here speaking and today we have another pick a card reading and this is the weekly love reading commencing January 28 up to February 3, 2019 and each pulse was arranged by Archangel Gabriel and by the way there's a lot of um, cards in each pile it is because St. Gabriel told me that it will be another intense week in terms of love, especially for your person. If you're dealing with a masculine, they are starting to be practical these days and they are choosing somebody who is like their twin. What do you mean by that? Like their counterpart. If you do if they are doing well with your career, they want to have somebody who is doing well as well. Okay, they don't want anyone um, that is like a player energy or whatsoever. They're starting to be practical as I notice and um, I'm sensing like only less will be um, a player type masculine these days because of their realization in life. And if they're not yet awakened, then probably they're just being practical and knows what to do since a lot of them experienced a lot of heartache before. And now, as you can see, they're focused on their career. Some are looking for love because they're doing well with their career. If they're not yet doing well with a career, they're just busy working. Okay? And some of them are still passionate. They want work and as well as love life. That's why um, when it comes to love, um, they're urgently looking for one, especially in this upcoming week, like uh, Valentine's Day is coming, as you notice. And even in my career readings, there's two at least files that about love. Okay, my career reading turned into a love reading. And the funny thing is that what's going on turned into career. I don't... I don't know, because maybe these people turn into something that is more practical than before. And they want a serious relationship, by the way. And they're not here to play. So, and the angels told me that if you play with a person's feelings these days, they're gonna be hurt. And of course, there's no assurance if they will come around to have you. Um, the angels told me that don't worry about love life as of the moment, worry about your career. It is because to get a person's attention is you need to be successful in your life. They don't want anyone um, that is um, not successful as I'm sensing since they are turning into practical one. And if you're dealing with a girl, yes, they long for love, but as well, they long for somebody who can do anything, okay? And some of your people, if they're not yet good in the career or business area, they are intrigued by you if you're doing well in your career. That's what I'm sensing these days, and if you're not doing well, well, they're gonna find another, so... Might as well be somebody whom they see as they want or um, that is successful in life. You will get their attention. And by the way, boys these days are not after the looks now. And they are very practical people as I'm sensing. Um, for those who, whom are my viewers... Um, I'm sensing like uh, this type of group who are gonna watch um, a love reading for this week are dealing with people who are practical. That's what I'm sensing. So angels told me that relax and focus on your craft. Don't mind if your masculine went away, run away from you. It is to fix your life as well. That's why you guys are in separation mode. And if you don't have anyone yet for Valentine's, don't mind, okay? You can enjoy your life. You know, you can hang out with your friends. Honestly, I don't have any date, okay, for Valentine's Day. But I'm gonna attend um, an event with my hobbies and with my friends, of course. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm happy with the Valentine's event that you're planning <laughs> and I have no idea if my man will come around and 
um tell me how he feels because until now he's not admitting but he approached me one time and i don't know <laughs> what will happen next and anyway i just hope everything will turn out well still kind of cold <laughs> as he is <laughs> oh dear man 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 <laughs> anyways um so we have four pals pal one is the king of swords pal two is the king of wands pal three king of pentacles pal four is the king of cups so my voice is kind of low now because you know i'm not <laughs> that feeling well these days you know um hmm. so anyway um by the way i don't know next week if i can do the weeklies it is because i need to go to a check for a checkup okay and i don't know when will i um be able to do this again because of my health and anyway for those who book my personal reading i'll be doing it probably after this video or um next day okay and by the way thank you for those who continue on supporting my channel i do appreciate it a lot and um the angels say that um a lot of people will get sick it is because the negative energies are being released to your body and you are being called to take good care of yourself because if union is coming, the angels say, they want to make sure that your health is not a hindrance in your connection. That is why if you're starting to become conscious about your health, then it means that um, your union is about to come. If not yet, then um, be prepared. Alright? So is there anything else? They said no more. So... I'll just show to you the cards that I'll be using for this reading, okay? Okay, for the tarot cards, I'll be using the Akashic Tarot deck and it will be clarified by the Classic Tarot. And then for the choices here, we pull cards from the Angel Tarot deck. By the way, don't base it on zodiac signs. And if I was asked to pull some cards, um... I'm gonna use the everyday tarot and it will be clarified by the mystic fairy tarot for the overall theme we pulled cards from the wisdom of the oracle deck and then for the messages of your person we pulled cards from the personal deck that i created this one and then i'll I'm so busy guys, okay, because of the Valentine's event for my hobby. I'm sorry I wasn't I stopped producing this one. And then for clarification, we will use the illuminated tarot deck. And then okay for the advices from the angels, we'll pull cards from this, okay. Angel answers the romance angels and then i will also use this for um the energy for your person okay so we may have an idea how they are feeling for you and then for the advice as well universe has your back since it's saint gabriel who arranged the pal for us we'll be using his oracle deck and he advised us also to use the archangel power tarot cards so the angels told me that choose wisely and don't base it on zodiac signs and anyway if you're not yet ready just post the video i'll proceed now with pal number one hello guys for those who chose pal number one the king of swords which is the decision series you're reading okay so let's see what's going on with your love life pal number one so here are the overall theme for this reading so you have a leg up young orphaned and also imagine so let's do an energy check about your person pal number one so angels and guides please provide guidance for the cards
so that we may know um, how does a person of pal number one see about the relationship or the connection and how does they feel for those who chose pal number one the angel soul is gonna be an intense um, reading so if you're not yet ready just post the video all right so you have engagement is there upright or reverse according to them and also honeymoon in upright position they say one more card they advise you have healing family issues in reverse position the angels told me should i need to pull more they said no need all right so let's begin let's see what's going on with your love life band number one so angels and guides please provide guidance for the cards so that we may know oops <laughs> stubborn cards probably your person is stubborn angels and guides please provide guidance for the cards so that we may know what's going on with the love life of pal number one commencing january 28 up to february 3 2019 the angels say if the, if it doesn't resonate with you for this week probably in the near future it might be so you have reflection what else you have archangel michael in a Praetor Rivers, they tell. What else? The King of Keys. Is your a Praetor Rivers for this one? Archangel Mike, I mean, Gabriel in reverse. So, your overall theme is two worlds. Both upright and reverse, according to the angels and saints. So, what is the outcome for this? Um, this three? They said no. Okay, what is the outcome? they keep on giving three cards maybe three has a significant um, number for you um eight of scrolls which is past unknown in reversed the angels told me so let's take it reverse clearing the way in upright the angels say the akashic library is a reverse or upright the angels say so should i need to pull more one more card they request for an outcome so you have the queen of scrolls in upright position they say the queen of forces is your upright or reverse according to them so you have two queens but let's see if there's really a third party here but i'm sensing you guys might have a fight so angels and guides please provide guidance for the cards so that we may clarify the cards presented here. Um, so that we may know what's going on with the love life of pal number one. Commencing January 28th up to February 3, 2019. So reflection, clarify. So you got the seven of cups. Is there upright or reverse? The angels say, Archangel Michael. So, you have the Ten of Wands in upright, the angels say, and also the hangman um, making decisions, the angels say. For the King of Keys, you have judgment in upright position, they say, and Ace of Wands. Archangel Gabriel, the Chariot, Four of Cups in reverse, and also King of Pentacles upright, they say. Two worlds. So you have the four of wands, either upright or reverse. The angels say the six of cups in upright position. They tell queen of cups and then the eight of scrolls. So you have queen of swords. Either upright or reverse for that. The wheel of fortune is your upright or reverse as well. The angels say clearing the way, clarify. You got the eight of pentacles upright position they say the akashic library you have the five of cups queen of scrolls two of pentacles the queen of forces you got the six of pentacles um one more they request so let's have one more card for that 
um, Four of Swords, you draw upright or reverse, they say Six of Wands, upright, they tell me. So let's see what's going on with your love life, pal number one. So you have the two worlds card clarified by this. So what we have here is uh, that um, you're making a decision. I'm sensing this is your energy, okay, who view this channel. You're making a decision. Either you'll stay in this connection or you look at the window and look for more options in terms of your love life. Because I'm sensing like this love that you have is unstable um like um the love is uh, there but it's not bringing you joy anymore like sometimes you're lonely sometimes you're sa um lonely or sad it's the same sometimes you're happy about it that you're in love but the problem is uh, that there's no enough give and take in this connection i'm sensing like you give more in this connection and this is for those who are the viewers. I'm not sensing your person here, okay? Um, that is how you were thinking. Like, you're pushing things forward even if it's not fun at all. Um, but I'm sensing like you're a loyal person. But you're losing hope in this connection already. Like, you want to let it go already, okay? You want to take it as a reverse. And let's think about any more the positive or negative side of situation like you don't know what to do honestly speaking so i'm sensing like i i want to tell you this okay the angels wants me to share so i have been to a long distance relationship okay before i met my twin okay and um that is after i have been with my ex-husband so um that next person was my friend and we turned into lovers we met in an online game it is because um whenever i'm stressed after work i used to play online so that my stress will be released and that time i'm not i'm not that um religious or whatsoever like what i'm doing now and then what happened is that um, I met this guy and we started off as friends. It's a long distance relationship. He lives in Argentina and I live in the Philippines. So it's very distant, right? And um, we, ma we didn't manage to um, meet in physical, physically, but um, we met by Skype. We chat there. And anyways, um, that lasted for only three years. And worst is uh, that really communication is a big problem. And usually, I am the one who is giving a lot of attention in this connection. Like every month, sorry, I will celebrate and show him pictures that um, I give him a gift and I send it to his country. Or I wrote something and drew about it i tried to stay in the connection all right and then um after two years i decided to study again and then that is when i meet my twin flame and i don't know what happened but um i really feel odd when i met my twin because you know i have a boyfriend that time okay i have a boyfriend and i met this twin of mine and i fell in love with him instantly i'm not that type of person who will fall for um the looks i am the type who look within the attitude first i like it when um you are my friend first before um we step into a relationship that's what i am okay i am not addicted to any handsome guys if you see my ex-boyfriend um he's um discriminated in his country and i told it to some of my videos anyway but he's a loving person okay he has been hurt that's why i fell in love with him because he taught me a lot and he's really have a good attitude and anyway um things are very hard for us on on those times and communication is not really that good since um Sometimes we don't speak for the whole month, okay? And it's very difficult for me. I'm missing my person. And I'm denying the fact that I'm in love with my twin that time. 
because I am in a relationship with my boyfriend. And so what happened is that um, after our third anniversary, he became cold and distant to me. Like, um, I will receive um, one message per month, which he don't normally do that, okay? And I feel so odd, like he's moving away from me and I'm the one who needs to approach and approach. So, you know, I'm sensing like probably most of you guys are in a distant relationship like what happened to me. If it happens, okay, if it's almost three weeks, I mean three months, only one communication or no communication at all, then you better decide. Is it really worth it? Is it really worth it to stay or not? Okay, because it's your energy. That's why I'm sharing it to you. Okay, and I know it's very hard, like what happened to me. Three years in a relationship ended like that. No communication. Okay, and I'm sensing your sadness. Okay, you're making that decision. And that's what I'm sensing here. And anyway, um, so those times that my person left me, um, I question my twin a lot. Why? Why it happened? And I'm sensing like probably because of this man. Like, I don't know. I try to avoid him the fact that he's my teacher and I'm the student. And it will be an issue if we, both of us became, you know. And it's not allowed in school. That's part of the rules there. That's why... I try to avoid him. So anyway, enough of talking <clears throat> about it. So your first card is a reflection together with this. So what will happen since you question about this connection? You're wondering if this is a long distance relationship. You're wondering if your person will ever come to you. Come back to you if you're in separation mode but not in a long distance relationship. Okay? And you wonder if that person has other options or not. Because I'm sensing like the feeling of waiting. That is how you feel. Like you're in a relationship but nothing is happening. Or if you're not in a relationship, what's going on is that you don't know if your person will come back or not. And you don't know if you will hold on to him or her or not. That's what I'm sensing here. Um, so let's see Archangel Michael together with this card. So the separation is burdening you. The fact that, um, you are the only one who gives love in this connection. And the other counterpart that you have is in reverse. And it's burdening you like you give your all to this person. You give all the sticks to him or her. But you didn't receive any. You're starting to analyze things like, is it really worth it to hold on or let go? That's how you think. And then the next is a king of keys. Um, clarified by these cards again. Reverse or upright here. So I'm sensing like you want to approach your person. You want to tell how you feel. And because um, you want a new start. Like you want to change the atmosphere. Um, I'm sensing like you are the giver in this connection. Um, the angels told me better follow the angels. Better follow the guides. If you're being guided to um, not approach your person like uh, go in reverse. Follow what is best for you rather than trying to stick. Um, they want you to analyze things like judgment card here. Okay, because um, the angels told me if the passion is not there anymore, um, better stop. Okay, better take good care of yourself rather than stick around with a person who doesn't care about you, for you. Okay, if this is your twin, you feel it, like this is your person, this is your twin, higher level soulmate, then you have to know or know what you should do. I'm sorry about the noises and anyway, 
Um, the angels told me that you have to relax a bit. No need to move and move to this person. Don't chase after him or her. Let him or her analyze uh, if um, what's your worth. Okay, the more that you come to this person who's not giving you anything at all, the more uh, that um, they will um, become spoiled by you. That you give your everything and this person doesn't give at all. Okay, so better step back. Be in reverse like this. And, um, I'm sorry about that. And anyway, um, the angels told me that better judge with your intuition, okay? And follow your dreams. Follow your career path first. Um... Don't mind about love life as of the moment because it's bringing you down. So the next card here is that the energy of your person, the angels say. So the energy of your person is like this. He or she or she is successful in life. They have someone else I'm sensing here. They move forward to someone else and it made them successful. And they don't communicate to you at all. This is the energy. So I'm sorry that the reading is not good. Okay. And that is how I'm sensing with these cards. So now you have um, five outcomes here. So take what resonates, guys. If it didn't happen within this week, probably in the future it might be. So... Pass unknown in reverse together with this card. So I'm sensing like you will move on from um, this connection. You will cut cords with your person because you don't want to be lonely anymore. You don't want to be like this, like you always, um, like you're the queen of swords in reverse. Like it's not logical anymore to stay, but you stayed. Okay, but if it's in a twin flame, like, you keep on holding on even if it's hard. So what will happen is that if you know this is your twin, you will stay. But you will be more focused on yourself. Like you will put your guard up because you want your wheel of fortune to be upright. You want to take control back of your life. And it is a good outcome for you for <clears throat> the first option. And for others, the angels say... Um, you will heal from the situation first before finding a new lover. That's what I'm sensing with this. But you will be ma you will manage to escape this connection um, properly without you hurting yourself because you got used to it. You got used to being left out of the cold. That is how I'm sensing here. Okay, and this person is choosing someone else. So. Better work on your career, as I'm sensing here. This is your person. I'm sensing also this is the energy of your person. Why? It is because I told you earlier that they don't communicate with you because they move with someone else. Okay, this is your cups. You give them a lot, but they accept somebody who just gave them one cup. And they're very stable in their life, in their love life even. So, uh, they move away from you and focusing more into their, their pentacles because I'm sensing here that you're very successful and they have a lover by their side. So, that's what I'm sensing. And then the next is Akashic Library. So, um, the third card is you will be forced to release all the pain, all the hurt, okay, because you will analyze things. You, you have all these memories together with that person and it's bringing you down. You want to move on. You want to release all the books of the past. You will try to heal yourself, okay? Before you step in a new connection. If you're in a twin flame journey, the angels told me that um, you will be more focused on the negative. Because... Um, 
your person hurt your feelings but you will move on to this and it's just in a healing process like you try to forgive your person for whatever he or she did to you and then the next card is the queen of scrolls um, clarified by this card so the angel told me that this is your person okay they put up a wall against you because they already have someone else and they have you and they have their career together and being with you um they are guilty deep inside of them i'm sensing here they're they're skilled okay because there's two ships there is you and this other one and they are juggling together with their finances but tell you honestly they're doing well with their business if they have a business if it's a career they have a lot of money and they don't want you to know what's going on in their life because you will be discovering about a third party situation that they have and some of them think that they will just um, be used because of money purpose so don't let that um control you um the angels told me better stand in your power better step back Prove to yourself, prove to your person that you are better than what they have now. Okay, take it as a challenge. Okay, to grow. Not to be somebody who will just be left out every single day of your life. No, you have to stand in your power. You have to experience self-love. Because, you know, my person did this to me too. It is for me to realize that I need to stand in my power. To learn how to... Um, focus with my career first before love life because in this life journey i'm noticing that because especially girls okay we are drawn to these princesses okay and that show made us somebody into wanting love when we can love ourselves first before stepping in a relationship okay and Honestly, I am guilty about it. I long for love since childhood because I have a difficult past. And all I ever wanted was someone to treat me well. Okay? That is why I am a type of person who looks within, not with the looks. I look within the heart. That is one of my powers. You know? <clears throat> So, the next card is the Queen of Forces, either upright or reverse. The angels told me that this is your person. If they're dealing with the karmic, if you're the twin or the higher level soulmate, if they're dealing with the karmic, what's gonna happen is that um, they don't know if this is the woman or the man that they ask for. Because what happened is that they received their karma. If you give and give and give to them, what happened to your person is they give and give and give. Like they receive their karma. And what happened is that they're contemplating like they realize that could be it is their karma of leaving you behind. That's what I'm sensing. Like what they did, they thought that it was victorious. They have someone else and they're very successful in life. But the problem is they are losing money because of this person. And they don't want to think about it. Because sometimes they think because they feel guilty of doing that to you. And this is in reverse. Why? Because they want to be successful. They don't want to think things over again. Because they want to move on away from you by using this woman or man that is not really meant for them. It could be upright or reverse because they don't know if um, this is their person that they wanted or not. They're still judging the one that they have now. Okay, so let's see how does your person see and feel about this. Okay. So you have feeling family issues. This is in reverse because they deny the fact that they hurt you. And they are not healing the connection. That's why this is in reverse. Okay. And 
I'm using my senses, guys, okay? I'm using my intuition, not... I don't base it on the context, okay, for those who are watching. Because sometimes, um, some people will question me about the meanings, okay. Dif readers has different um, styles, by the way. So, please don't judge us, honeymoon. And the angels say that your person is like this, like they left you. For a better person, that's what I'm sensing here. And some of them don't even know if this person that they are with are somebody who is meant for them or not. For a twin flamer, the angels say they feel the connection, um, but um, they gave up on you. The fact that you lack something, the angels say, or you keep on using them, um, that could be the case. Um, or they hate transforming into something that you want them to be because in twin flame journey you have to change yourself right you have to face your inner demons your shadows so what happened is that they got freaked out they went run away from you and this connection and find someone else that they can be with but in the end if you guys are meant to be it is meant to be Okay, you will end up being together and this person will leave um, their karmic behind. But if it, it's not um, that kind of connection, if you ask me what is twin flame or higher level soulmate, I tell you honestly is that um, if you know your twin, you will know it right away. Because when I meet the one for me, or not your twin, probably could be your higher level soulmate because some people don't have twin flames, okay? It's really a rare chance. But anyways, uh, guys, um, you will have someone that is truly meant for you in this earth, in this lifetime. And we cannot avoid it. So what I can suggest to you is that um, if you met the one for you, you can feel it in your heart that this is the one, especially if you're a type of person who don't fall that easily with the looks, okay? Um, because you will sense, um, why am I in love with this person? Like, I don't know him or her. That feels, okay? And second, the moment that you saw that person and then on that night, you will have dreams, continuous dreams about him or her that you didn't experience before with other people. And the connection is great that um, you can't release him or her in your mind. That is so intense and that you can't even explain. That is how it is, okay, in dealing with your person. So if it, that, if it is what you feel for this person, then that person is the one for you. But if not, if you didn't sense it, um, then you have to move on, alright? Um, by the way, um, I'm sensing like I have to tell this to you guys, okay? If you're a type of person who falls in love with the looks, please avoid that. You cannot find the one if you fall in love with the looks right away, okay? Practice loving or falling in love with somebody who has a good attitude first. Attitude matters than looks. Okay, I'm teaching you that. Because you know you need to be practical, especially in finding your person. Because if you're based on the looks, then every time you fall in love with handsome or beautiful girls out there. Or guys. That's not right. Okay, and be practical, alright? So, let's see your overall theme. So, you have a leg up. So, I'm sensing like this is you longing for love. Like you miss those days when your person are still there. You're missing the memories when you guys are together. And if you're dealing with a twin flame, you're like this. You're holding on to this connection. I know Yang is more on masculinity. But I'm sensing in this card this time about your reading and that it is more about you holding on to this connection and the fire is burning out like it's run out um so you're imagining yourself you're 
thinking still about this connection when honestly speaking like um it's fading away so you're left orphaned by this person that's why you're missing these memories uh so that is your overall theme so your choice is the king of swords which is decisions so you have to decide what you will do if you feel like this person is for you i shared my story if that is meant for you then stay but focus on your career okay don't focus much in this person and follow so you won't be ending up hurting yourself because when my person finds someone else new what i did is i unfollow him i don't want a heartache anymore but i didn't block my person if you block your person and you are meant to be how can that person reach you back when he or she comes to realization so that is why it's better to unfollow than block Okay, give your relationship a chance if it's really meant to be. Okay, and then um, the angels say, if this person is not meant for you, then better cut off this connection. Okay, cut off the connection that is not healthy for you. And focus on yourself. Focus on your healing work. Focus on your career. Don't let this connection affect you the angels say so let's see what are the messages that they have for you pal number one all right so for the first message there's no easy way out in reverse or upright the angels say for this one you are my shelter from the storm let's take the positive here forget your sorrow because love gonna conquer it all is there upright or reverse for that one? The angels say, there was something missing. I've never been an open book. And also push aside what used to be. The angels advise me to clarify everything. Okay, so we may have clarification about the situation. so angels and guides please provide guidance for these cards that we may know what's behind the messages of the person of pile number one for them the angels say relax and have faith that if your guys are not meant to be somebody else will be out there and that is person is meant for you so you have two of clubs eight of clubs there was something missing clarify seven of spades and also jack of diamonds i've never been an open book clarify please so you have five of hearts and also five of diamonds push aside what used to be eight of spades fives is about changes Okay, the angels advise me to tell that to you. You are my shelter from the storm. Seven of hearts. Forget your sorrow. Six of spades. Five of clubs. Okay. So, the first card that you have here is there's no easy way out. Is there upright or reverse for you? Um, I'm sensing like um, they acknowledge this connection, but in the end, they're more focused on their own. Like they think of themselves first because um, I'm sensing like they had enough in this connection. Why? So for some, the twin flame journey is kind of complicated and they run away from it. Because for them, um, they want to find their way out. It's not easy for them, honestly speaking. And it's in reverse or upright because it's a thing of the past. Okay? Um, at first, they think that they really want to get out and they manage to get out. They manage to um, tell somebody about how they feel about this connection and they manage to find that someone else who can match them. Because I'm sensing like you give your all to this person, but in the end, um, they didn't see your value. They fall in love to someone else. I'm sensing that is for some. Um, because of beauty itself. And the angels say that if they fall in love with beauty itself, 
um, the heaven is gonna punish this person. Like they want them to make um, this person realize that beauty isn't everything. Okay, and if you guys are meant to be, they're gonna be punished someday. Don't worry, um, because they need to change. And there was something missing. So some of you guys, even though you love this person so much for them, you know, there's something missing in the connection. That is why they chose someone else. As you can see, they judge you in an unfair way, unfair manner, and they find someone else new. That's what I'm sensing there. So I've never been an open book. Yes, they didn't tell you that they run away and they're not committed to you. They tell a lie that they love you probably and then they run away. Okay, that's the case. So we push aside what used to be. If before they're madly in love with you, showing you affection. And this is injustice. Okay, like they lied to you. That's what I'm sensing. If, like, they want to tell you, if I love you before, I'm not really in love with you. That's what I'm sensing. I change. I'm sensing like they lost interest in you. That's why they left. That's what I'm sensing. Is this a player type energy? They say that yes, it is. That's why they're being punished. Um, for some, they will lose a lot of money because of the third party. And they will realize that you are worth it than the other because you give a lot to this person. And they hurt somebody who is kind and loving and caring even. That's what I'm sensing here. So, you are my shelter from the storm. So, this person was spoiled of those gifts that you gave to him or her. But the problem is their heart is not open to you. Like, um, they lied to you that they love you, as you can see here. They lied to you that they're committed to you. And they lied to you that they love you. That's what I'm sensing with this. And then the next card is, um, forget your sorrow because love gonna conquer it all. They gave you false hopes that they will come forward for you and they make you think that they will stay that they are committed to you as i'm sensing with the chains here and you stayed right and you believe in love but the problem is that it's in reverse as well meaning they just use you because they just abuse you because you stayed no matter what, no matter how hard it is, no matter how hurt you are. Okay, so the angels told me, don't be with this person who thinks only of themselves. If this is your twin someday, this person will recognize your worth if you run away as well. Okay, if you're more focused on yourself, healing yourself, not minding this person at all, this person will come running to you because they will feel guilty of what they did and they will realize your worth. Because if you keep on giving and giving and this person didn't give you anything, what will happen? They will just abuse you because you remain and you're feeding their ego. Okay, so better step back. Just take action if they show to you that they love you as well. And if they leave this third party and they chose you, accept them if they, if you feel you guys are meant to be. Okay? Learn give and take relationship. Not always give and give and give. And remember fall in love with attitude and not with the looks. Okay? Probably this is teaching you that. Okay, for some only. Okay, just take what resonates. So, let's see what are the advices that the angels wants for you, pal number one. So, angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that we may know what are your advice you would like to give for those who chose pal number one. 
so what are the advice you would like to give so you have chemistry is in reverse so obviously speaking um your person's not interested anymore so don't hold on to this and as you can see there's rain in the background so what i'm getting here is that you're just trying to hold on um and honestly the chemistry attraction is not there anymore so don't hold on to that if this is your twin the angels say um better let go of the connection for a while for a while okay because if you're meant to be trust and have faith that this person will come to you you just need to fix yourself first before the union happens okay and they will do um the universe will do the trick okay they will teach this person um and they will um there will be a tower moment i'm sensing because um they will come to realization and awakening process it's gonna take a longer so what you can do while waiting to your person is to fix your life as well okay fix your life learn to love yourself learn to give and take because if you give and give and you're gonna lose your cup you're gonna lost your love for yourself that's gonna happen so what else would you like to give advice they said no more so just that so the next is a no so the angel saw me don't hang on to this person, okay? If you feel like this person is not meant for you, somebody else will come to you. But if you feel like this is your twin, this is your higher level soulmate, then just wait for the perfect time. Right now is a no. Don't take any actions. Just focus on yourself and your healing for what this person did to you. And then the next card is Knight of Michael. A strong, committed, intellectual, diligent. Time to move quickly. Choose logic over emotion. Sudden changes. So the angels told me uh, that follow your instincts. Okay? And this gives you a sign that you need to move on already from this person. Because it's hurting you already. And the angels told me that you need to focus on your own right now but um they are just here for you no matter what the angels say they will force your person to change as well um because there's gonna be an ending for what they did to you like they will feel guilty over and over again because you gave a lot and they know the angels know your effort even if you guys are not meant for each other that person will be taught something that running away is not a solution they must face you okay and they will feel guilty forever the angels say and you need to relax this moment and forgive your person for whatever this person did to release your energies to that person um, the angels say if you have a negativity um, that is keeping you to be with this person, you have to release it. You have to forgive. You have to purge all the pain and move on. Okay? Take back control of your life. I know you didn't receive that card, but I'm sensing like I need to tell you that you need to take control of your life. Okay? It is your decision. So you have the moon, Archangel Haniel, the opportunity to improve your plans, listen to your intuition for accurate guidance. <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm sensing like he, um, your person can talk to you, face your fears, and grow stronger. So I know some of you guys have a fear that your person will left you. Honestly speaking, they are. Because that's how I'm sensing with the reading. Even if I will just say take what resonates. But unfortunately, what I feel is what I feel. I know the truth hurts. But you have to move on. I don't sugarcoat things. I know this is too negative, guys. But you must hold on. You must know the truth rather than not. Okay? 
and I'm here to tell you. I'm being guided to um, focus on your career, focus on yourself, face your fear, face the truth, and the truth will set you free. Remember that, okay? And since the moon card is here, I'm sensing secrecy involved. Like you don't know everything that's going on to your person, but in this reading, we sense it, we view it, okay? Like they have someone else, okay? They have someone else, they run away from you. And now you know the truth, you know what to do. You know what you need to do. For yourself, okay? Heal yourself. Don't give any more attention to your person as of the moment. So you have sensitivity. Your sensitive feelings are your muse and inspiration for your creativity. I know you guys are lonely. You know whenever we are lonely, um, we are focused on um posting something in social media right um now is the right time to make poems because whenever we're lonely it's a good feeling to write poems right or do creative things so focus on your attention not to that loneliness but um focus your attention on what makes you happy like your hobbies um or hanging out with your friends but in a good way okay um not like um um not like doing bad things when you're sensitive so better watch your words the angels say avoid posting in social media better talk it over with your friends and family members if you trust someone there and you can also talk to god and the angels, the angels told me, they're just here for you. All you need to do is pray. And Archangel Gabriel is here. Archangel Gabriel is the one who arranged the pulse for us. Okay, that's why we have his card. And he is um for expression, right? So the angels say that for this week, you have to relax. Don't give any attention to your person. Focus on yourself, give attention to yourself, and love yourself first before giving and giving and giving once again. Okay, once that you're ready, you can love again. Okay, you need to learn a lot of things before you step into a relationship. The angels told me another reason why they take away your person. So don't be upset to the heavens. Why, why, why? Is it because your person needs to grow? I'm sensing like the person that you deal with, they're not committed to you. Okay, they just use you for their happiness. Because they can manipulate you. They know that they love you. I mean, they know that you love them, okay? And that's why they abused that kindness that you have for them. So the next card is one is my true nature. So this tells me to focus on your self-love and self-worth. You're not worthy of being with someone who's not caring at all, who use your kindness, who use the fact that you love them for their benefit. That's not really good. So learn yourself first. Okay? And be somebody who's logical, as I'm sensing here. Use your logic sometimes. I know if we use our logic, then ego might come. No, it's not, it's not the case. Okay? If you know to yourself you're being used by other people because of your kindness, then better know how to have healthy boundaries. Not always, they will play you over and over again. You're not a toy. Your heart is not a toy. Okay, you're a human being. You deserve love. If you make these people see you as somebody who can be played with, then um, that's not respect. Because I'm sensing you're a type of person who deserves love, who deserves respect. And this person just play with your heart. Which is not right anymore. So, once that you're ready, once that you know self-love, self-worth, healthy boundaries, and finding yourself, finding your 
a life purpose on earth and do it, that is the time that you can meet the person that you love. If this is your twin, it's teaching you that. Separation needs to happen for both of you to grow. Okay, so don't be angry and upset. Embrace the process. You know, I'll tell you my story, okay? I know you're tired of my stories, but I have to tell you this. I am like you before. I was hurt by my twin. Okay? And those moments, I'm very having that low self-esteem issues and also my confidence is very low if you see my first uh, other videos that i have there released i am not like this i am not i don't have that confidence my voice is very low and but i managed to stand why it is because i understand that i need to focus on my own i need to release my energy from this person that hurt me because if you keep on focusing on that, what will happen to your life? Okay? And we can cry once, twice, or whatsoever. But we need to realize something that we need to move on. We need to help ourselves. If this person is meant for us, then trust it is. But if it's not, then somebody else is meant for you. You need to help yourself. Because I'm sensing that people is abusing you, not only this person, but everyone else. Because they see your kindness. They see that you're a giver. Yes, probably that could be your life purpose. But um, the angels want you to know that you have to take good care of yourself as well. And learn healthy boundaries or else people will keep on playing your heart. And it's not right anymore. You need to love yourself. Okay? It's not being selfish. It is taking good care of yourself first. And analyzing um, whom is really your friends from that. Honestly speaking, I have friends. But when I was awakened, I realized that I really don't have friends. Yes, I keep them as my friends. But I don't talk to them anymore about my problems, about my issues. Because they can't be trusted. Some of them use me. And in the end, what happened is that friend of mine betrayed me. Okay, they chose somebody who's more richer than me. And when they can't get anything from me, they left. So please love yourself. First, and remember that everything is permanent in this world. If you have a fear of letting go, we must understand that everything is permanent in this world. Like, somebody can die, or, um, you know, something, accidents to happen, right? And you have to take good care of yourself. Because um, that is your vehicle to do something good in this world. Okay, I know you're a kind person. I know you're a good soul in this reading. And the angels told me that you have to relax this week. Cry it all and they are just here for you. So the next is... The more energy and intention I bring to my faith, the more fearless and free I am. So the angels told me that right now you have to free yourself from your fears because I'm sensing like some of you guys have self-esteem issues or even confidence because people is bringing you down. Some people are bullying you, bullying you the fact that you're a kind-hearted person and you're lovable as well. So, as the angels say that um, you have to go on, um, try to be alone for some time because you used to be with people. Because some people can be trusted, some people can be not. And ground yourself first. Um, they told me that you have to ground yourself, um, go to the park or to the nature and step on the ground barefoot 
meditate like all negative energies should leave you behind and all those bad memories that you have um, release it and release the pain with your tears and the angels told me bury all the negative energies on the ground focus on your self-healing self-worth pray to god god is your strength god is your light the angels say and fill your empty cup with joy and love learn to love yourself learn to be happy with your habits be happy on your own and don't depend your happiness to someone else because um, with that you will have a fear of letting people go away in your life of letting go even the toxic people you don't need to keep toxic people in your life the angels say um, they gonna bring you down in the end so please focus on yourself learn to analyze things okay you have a big heart the angels say you ha you can help save the world inspire people to be good like you but before you move on to that journey you have to take good care of yourself first and now is the time it's a perfect moment to change yourself okay so is there anything else okay they said no more so anyway spell number one i'm sending you peace love and light Bye.